Hello everyone, my name still remains Okpe Oluwa Oni, your real estate cash flow king. And today, a lot of people ask me this question that I'll be answering today. What is the number one skill that I need in real estate? Okay. <laughs> okay, yes, the number one skill that you need in real estate is your ability to negotiate. You might be wondering, ah, is it not selling? Ah, Don't worry. Negotiate. So, it's very, very important. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today because when it comes to real estate, basically what you are doing is you are negotiating deals. When you are even selling, what you are doing is actually negotiating deals. So that is the reason why I'm not putting sales with just confinement. So your ability to negotiate because you are negotiating. For instance, now, you want to sell something to me. Let's say 10 million era worth of property or 100 million era worth of property. So your ability to negotiate that 100 million that I have in my pocket, that, that uh, you are the one that I should part with that 100 million to, is very, very important. Let me repeat myself. Your ability to persuade me, negotiate and convince me that the 100 million era that I have I should give it to you, not someone else, is very, 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 very important. And I'm not going to the details of negotiating, selling, and all of that. One important thing that I want us to understand is this. When you are going into a real estate deal, any deal that you are going into, there are two people involved. The seller, the buyer. And for every negotiation deal, there's always something that is a win-win. Well, in the real sense, win-win works. But somebody is losing and somebody is winning. And who wins and who lose are determined by two factors. Number one, who is more desperate and what is the definition of value. So I'm not going to be going into the detail of value. I'm going to the details of desperation. So desperation is what makes people to lose in real estate. So when you are going into any real estate transaction, whether you are a seller or you are a buyer, do not be desperate to sell and do not be desperate to buy. Anytime you are desperate to sell or you are desperate to buy, you lost out. I'm going to be sharing a practical example that happens of recent and even one of the reasons why I'm even doing this video. Don't be desperate to buy. Don't be desperate to sell. Anybody that is willing to walk away from any transaction wins at, at the end of the day. If you have the mentality that you have nothing to lose in that deal, you win ultimately. And that is very, very important. Let me give you an example. Of recent, wanted to buy an apartment for um, my, my family members wanted to buy an apartment for their mom. And because we've been looking for this apartment since November last year, so by next month, it will be up to a year. Because, I mean, the condition, we wanted a ground floor, we wanted a particular location, we wanted, you no, know, there were specifics that we want. We don't want a repair, we just want to go clean, pack things there, and we'll move it. I wanted ground floor. So to get something that suits that particular location was being very difficult and we needed to achieve it before December. And we become, I mean, desperation, we're looking for deals, we're not, some deals were not just going through. So we got a property, good deal. And the property was supposed to go for about 34 million. I won't give out more than the 34 million era. That was what we were told. So at the point of payment, because we wanted to close the deal very, very fast, even myself, because ah, say go, thank God. In fact, I was even thanking God that we sold this particular property. And I was supposed to be the real estate expert. And all of a sudden, this um, I, I mean, they sense the fact that we were we were desperate. So they came back and said, no, that property is not going for 34 million again, it's going for 35 million. Wow. So we had a meeting, I said, ah, maybe it's just one million that they had it. Let's go ahead and pay. So okay, the Lord I answered. And they pay, even to pay the 35 million, the person will say, no, I don't need the money. Ah, I said, 
as the person mentioned that statement, I said, ah, I don't win the money, I don't need the money. I said, oh, this person has forgotten to get to her. So what that person just played out there was that he preyed on our desperation. So when you are going into any deal, even though you have defined your value, you must not be desperate. So in that transaction, we define our value. We know what we know the good price, we know the location, we know everything. So what the what is valuable to us, we define it. However, we were too desperate. So how then can you avoid desperation when it comes to whether you are buying or you are selling? So let me give you another flip side to it. I remembered some couple of years ago, somebody wanted to buy a property and the original value of that property was 115 million. That's the valuation. Listen to this very, very carefully. And upon, oh, they put the property out and the purpose of the property was to sell the property because the owner of the property was sick. But at that point in time, when they, were, when they decided to sell the property, the sickness was not at a critical stage. So they were just like, okay, okay, the person will get well and all of that. However, at some point, the sickness became so critical that they needed to fly the man out immediately. So a property that worth 115 million, believe me not, it was sold for 25 million naira because they were desperate to sell. In fact, the person that bought it at 25 million naira negotiated to an extent that he said he was going to give them the equivalent in dollars because they needed to travel that day. They bought the ticket, but they needed the money. So he gave them that money, knowing fully well that they were desperate. So the person already made profits. In fact, that guy can flip that property back at 75 million to the market and he's still selling below the market price, below the valuation of the property. So anybody that is desperate to sell, desperate to buy, always lose in any real estate transaction. And you must be ready to walk away. You must be ready to walk away. So how do we do that now? So I'm going to be taking the position of a seller. I'll just give you some few points and the position of a buyer. So this is just a simple act that you need to have at the back of your mind. So number one, when you are buying property, don't be desperate. Don't go out on thing when you need the property. Go out on thing. And you see, I, I've mentioned this thing over and over again. When you're buying a property, it's not an emotional decision. It should be, it's a logical decision. It's, real estate is an investment. So you need to know your numbers. So don't go out on thing when you need the property, like in the next two months, I need to buy this property. Or maybe so you've gotten a quick notice and you want to buy a property. No, when you go out on thing, when you are hungry, you are the prey. When you go out hungry, on thing, when you are hungry, you are the prey because you'll be desperate. And when you are desperate, sometimes due diligence, you won't be able to do your due diligence. You won't be able to do your due diligence. You'll be able to do the proper search for the property. You won't be able to do a whole lot of things. And if you are not careful, you will buy what you are not supposed to buy. Not even at a terrible deal, but you might even be buying something that is not that valuable. So that is very, very important so don't be don't go out at the time you need it when you're a buyer right and have multiple options don't be fixated about a particular location or about a particular type of property i need two bedroom it must be this it must be that no because when you are too fixated there are deals that will come your way when you are hunting for a property that are even better than what you are looking at. You, you, you have at the back of your mind, but if you are not open-minded, you are too fixated about a particular type of property, you lose out. So that is very, very important. The next thing is budget. Be, don't, don't, don't. Yes, we are, sometimes you, you go hunting for property in faith, but your budget, determine your budget, be flexible about your budget. However, most importantly, let the cash be readily available. Because sometimes when you are negotiating, the fact that you said, see, I can transfer 10 million naira to you right now or in the next 24 hours, 
gives you an edge. Your ability to pay will give you edge. Your ability to pay will give you what? Will give you an edge. That is important. Your ability to pay will give you an edge. Any day, any time, cash is king when it comes to negotiation. That is very, very important because this is just a very, very short video and it's a free video too. I won't give you more than that. So when you are selling, don't try to sell when you need the money. When you desperately need the money, instead of selling, leverage. I won't give you more details than that, leverage. Look for a way you can leverage that property instead of selling it. So that the inherent value of that property, you can still get it. Okay, let me, let me share this story um, for free. There was a particular person that wanted to sell a particular property because they needed money. And I told them, also, oh, it's all these jackpot people. So I advised them. I said, okay, what do you need? Okay, I need so so amount, blah, blah, blah. So you want to sell an apartment for 45 million, an apartment that's worth 65 million, you want to sell it for 45 million. Even at that 65 million is a given. But because they didn't need money, I said, okay, why not look for a long-term lease for this apartment? People that want to do short legs, that will pay you long-term. Why not? So they did that. They put the apartment for, on a long-term lease. They raised 10 million era. And they used the same apartment as a guarantee for a loan. And they raised another 10 million era. And together, they raised 20 million era instead of selling it for 45 million era. So they still own the apartment. And they have their, they still, I mean, the apartment is still generating cash flow for them. So leverage the apartment, leverage the property, leverage it. Think, think, don't just box. You know, sometimes when we have problems, we, we our brain are boxed and show up and think the only thing is to sell it. I see that a lot, especially in this age and time and season that we have. So that is very, very important. So don't be too desperate to sell. Leverage the property when you think that selling is the last option. So I think um, with these few points, um, <laughs> I've been able to convince you that negotiation skill is very, very important. You need to improve on it. And sometimes for you to improve on negotiations, your negotiation skills, you need to be involved in more negotiation. So that is very, very, very important. So in case you need guidance, drop comment, chat me up. Let's have discussion. And that will be all for now. My name still remains Okwe Olua Oni. So you can like this video, um, share it with your friend, whatever platform, follow me and uh, remain blessed. Thank you very much.